Hello everyone, this is Akhil from Almost Social and before I start this video, a quick announcement that going forward, all the review videos on this channel, Almost Social, are going to be in English language. So I'm just talking about the review videos, rest everything will be as usual in Hindi or maybe you can say a mix of Hindi and English. This, the step has been taken based on the feedback from a lot of you guys. Uh, because a lot of you do not understand English and you want me to do all these review videos in English so that you can understand and even my international audience can actually understand. And if in case you guys are not following me on Instagram, this is my handle and today's product has been sent to us by this company called Miki. And the lens which we are going to review today or are going to talk about is a fisheye lens 8mm f3.5 aperture. Before I move ahead with the unboxing of this amazing lens which I have already used for a couple of weeks before I decided to do this video. I just want to mention this thing before we move to the unboxing that this product has been sent to me by Miki. So thank you so much Miki for sending this one and they definitely have not paid me anything to do all these reviews this is just a product which has been sent by them so my opinions my views or anything i mention in this video is not sponsored in any way and everything i am telling you is definitely based on the personal experience my views are not bought anyways so yeah before i unbox uh, this is how the box looks like which is like a quite neat pack this comes as different mounts which are available uh, for Sony, Canon, Nikon and so forth but the one which I am having right now is a Nikon mount because I am a Nikon user. So this one is 8mm APS-C f3.5 multi-coated fisheye lens which is also, also ultra wide angle lens. If in case you move to one of these sites which has the specifications, I am definitely not reading out each and everything but I am just explaining things which I think you guys should be knowing. If in case you talk about the lens structure, it is having the 8 groups which are divided into 11 glass elements. Maximum aperture as you already know f3.5 minimum being f22. This has this has the minimum focusing distance of 10 centimeters or you can say 0.1 meter which is quite close. So if in case you guys would want to take maybe say those close uh, sub, uh, the, the captures you will have to go that close if in case you will have to focus on that particular thing. If in case you talk about this being used on a full frame or maybe say a crop sensor cameras. On a full frame, it will be giving you the vertical angle of 160 degrees. I'm talking about the width it will be capturing. It will be completely wide. And if in case you're capturing this thing on a crop sensor, which is a DX format uh, cameras, it will be 104 degrees of the vertical angle, the coverage. I will show you what exactly that means practically using the samples of the sample videos and sample images I have taken using this lens because I told you I have been using this thing for last two weeks. So let's just unbox this one. As soon as you open the box, the first thing you will see on the top is a manual along with the pouch, which is the lens carrying pouch. Uh, let's just go further. There is uh, nothing other than the lens itself inside. Let's just take out the lens. And apart from the lens, is there anything else inside? Are we missing anything? Okay, let's just quickly double check. Uh, there is nothing apart from this one. Yeah, that's cool. So once you come out, let's just keep the box aside. And this is how your lens looks like, which looks quite premium. And on the top of that, you see this amazing plasticky hood, which is again of uh, a good quality, even though it is not that great, the lens cap, but it is of a good quality. And I'm pretty sure I can understand the reason why it is not of excellent quality, because of course they will have to save some way just to make sure that this lens is costing you approximately $164, which makes something close to uh, 11,000 rupees in Indian market, which is quite an impressive price. And before I miss that, if in case you are interested to buy that for any cameras you are using for any mount, uh, the link is definitely in the description of this video. So you can go and you can watch that. It is on the Amazon uh, link. So yeah, you can just check that out if in case you would want to. Now coming back to one thing which I really did not like much is, let me just keep this aside uh, for once. The main issue for me in the entire thing uh, it's not with the lens but the lens pouch i know it is not of a big a huge deal to a lot of you or maybe to uh, someone like me but yeah uh, people who do not like to spend extra on lens cases uh, it might be a problem i really did not like the quality of the lens pouch it 
even though it looks good it looks like it will give you the rain protection the water protection but i did not uh, find a lot of confidence in the same thing and this is not having enough cushion so even when there'll be like a bit of jerks uh, it might not be able to handle all those things properly so maybe if in case you guys are listening if in case you guys are watching this video uh, just a piece of advice if in case you guys can just work a bit on improving the quality of this one with the extra padding or maybe have some extra uh, better uh, material that will be something which will definitely be an icing on the cake because i have totally loved the lens so far and i'm just going to share the experience with all of you guys right now so let's just quickly move and see what exactly are the things which we have here and we'll just try to understand what is uh, this lens all about so like i already mentioned all the other things you definitely have like the other things which you already know about talking about the build quality of this lens this lens is having the metallic construction and this definitely makes it solid and durable the focus ring this one it is definitely smooth it is butter smooth and when you talk about the aperture ring like how you actually uh, adjust the aperture so you hear this tiny sound when you are rotating this dial for aperture change and this definitely gives you a feel uh, which is like too soothing to your ear actually because you can actually feel it with your hand as well they are like small small jerks that you are moving your aperture from uh, one stop to the other which is like it's good i like it talking about the front element it is multi coated and it can effectively reduce disappointing optical performances such as lens flaring or maybe a ghosting and this definitely has a lens structure of eight groups and 11 elements the lens can deliver satisfactory creative images and i have seen that even though i have not taken this thing to the actual shoot you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you would want me to take this to some maybe some street photography or maybe have some normal shoot with this lens and you would want me to do a dedicated video on that let me know in the comment section below and we'll see what exactly we can do with that yeah talking about the metal mount which we have here this is of a good quality and this does not have any electric contact with the lenses so this one is a manual lens it is not an automatic focus lens so you will have to adjust the focus accordingly and that has to be done manually using this focus ring which is smooth of course so now let's just quickly have a look at some sample videos and some sample photos i have taken and after that we'll be talking about what exactly or how exactly this lens is going to perform when you are using this one on a full frame camera and a crop sensor camera So now that you have seen the sample footage in terms of photos and videos I'll just quickly tell you so the camera which I have mounted this one on right now is a Nikon D610 which is a full frame camera and the one which I have here it is a Nikon D3100 but let's just keep that aside and I'll just give you the example using the same camera in different modes so i'll just tell you what exactly or how exactly it is going to perform in a full frame or a crop sensor when you're using the same thing on a full frame cameras the two things which will be visible will be first thing is this uh lens protection hood and the second thing will be the black vignette effect across the video or the photograph at the corners but if in case you're using the same thing on the dx cameras which is the crop sensor both these issues will be solved and all you'll be having is a ultra wide angle lens because on the full frame it will be giving you the fish eye look with the black borders across so if in case that is something which you would want then you can use that otherwise you will have to use this but like i told you earlier on the full frame cameras the vertical angle which is uh, the complete angle which is actually captured is 160 degrees whether whereas on the crop sensor cameras it is 104 degrees that clearly means that you will be able to get much more wider image on a full frame rather than on a dx so if in case you are using you are having a full frame camera but still you want to maybe say have a look which is similar to what you get on a crop sensor you can just go to the shooting menu under that go to image area and from image area go to dx which is usually 1.5 uh, of your fx which is your full frame 
So that is a major difference if in case you're using this lens on a crop sensor or a full frame. So I hope you get that. If in case you'll be having any questions, you can definitely ask me in the comment section below. So this is what I completely feel about this lens for now. I would be using this one for longer, for sure, because this is definitely an amazing economic fish eye ultra wide angle lens which all of you or maybe all of us must have if in case we are thinking to do because this in comparison to the other brands which are already there uh it's the cheaper version and it is having a very good build so if in case you guys like this video if in case you guys like this lens you know where to buy this but if in case you guys like this video make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button so that we can get connected and we can do all these videos regularly and i'm pretty sure if in case you guys like it you will definitely give it a thumbs up and you will definitely hit the subscribe button. You will let me know if in case you'll be having any questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Till then have a great time and please take care.